Okay, YouTubers, this is the Angry Prepper. Today's video is going to be on my bushcraft belt or outdoor belt, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I developed this belt because I got tired of my pants sagging with all my uh, with all my pouches and gear on my belt that's on my pants, and I'd have to pull up my uh, my pants or cinch my belt tighter, which I hate doing. So I came up with this belt and put my pouches and gear on this belt and it works out perfectly. Now my pants is not a, it's not being tugged on or pulled up a thousand times a day. And I could take this off when I go lay down instead of having to take my belt off and take each individual pouch off. So now all I had to do was uh, take the belt off and put it to the side in my tent or in my tarp. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we're going to start from uh, left to right, okay? First pouch is by the Hidden Woodsman, or uh, Malcolm Kodera. It's a uh, multi-tool pouch. In that pouch is the Leatherman Super Tool 300. Uh, to the right of that is my Beckard knife, or uh, my Beckard knife, sorry, BK9. With that, in the smaller pouch, on the knife is the multi-tool uh, Ultimate Survival Technology. That's their new uh, multi-tool hammer, which I'll do a uh, review on in, uh, in months to come. The black pouch next to the knife is the, again, Hidden Woodsman uh, belt pouch. That has my fire kit in it. Uh, the tan pouch next to the black pouch is the is my survival uh, kit. So should I get lost in the woods or turned around or whatever, I have a, a kit that's going to keep me uh, comfortable for at least a night uh, until I get back to camp or find my way out, whichever comes first. Next to the, the tan pouch is a Condor, uh, I think it's a Condor Outdoor dump pouch. I use that for forging as well. Um, I would use that for forging when I don't have the uh, Clint Haversack that I described in the previous video. If I don't have the Clint Haversack with me, I use the dump pouch or I use the dump pouch to carry more uh, tinder or whatever uh, forging I'm doing. That's extra uh, stuff that I would carry in the dump pouch. Next to the dump pouch is my cell phone pouch, which is not a necessity, but because I always have my phone on me taking pictures and videos, I bought this pouch. Um, I'll show you who the pouch is made by right now. And uh, it's it, it fits the iPhone 6S. Oh, uh, sorry, 6 Plus. All right, so next to the iPhone pouch, you could barely see it, but you can see the button. That's a lighter. Uh, keep a lighter in that pouch just in case I'm in my lazy mode and don't want to go through uh, flint and steel to get a fire going off, you know, ferro rod for that matter. And next to the lighter pouch, and you probably you won't be able to see it that good in the video, is a flashlight. I have a flashlight in there. Uh, I also keep my headlamp on my in my pocket on my person. Um, and that's just actually a backup, right? So this is my bushcraft belt. This is what I wear when I go out. Um, I haven't actually tested it out fully, but I'm going to in my next outing. All right, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter. Uh, thank you for watching, and see you guys next time. Okay guys, uh, this is an update video on the bushcraft belt. About two and a half weeks ago, I took the belt out for a test run. And as you can see, I made some changes. Um, I added the Wicked Tree Gear handsaw to the belt. Uh, one of the best handsaws you're probably ever gonna use. And uh, I'll be doing a review on that 
in a couple weeks. So next to that, I took out that um, multi-tool hammer device I had by uh, Ultimate Survival Technology. And I put the flashlight in there and took the flashlight pouch off, which was at the far right. Um, we're going to skip over the fire and survival kit real quick. Get back to that in a second. I took off the Urban Defender uh, knife by Tops and added the Brothers of Bushcraft knife by Tops. Um, just for testing purposes, no rhyme or reason. The iPhone pouch, lighter, and multi-tool pouch stayed on, as you can see. Um, everything else worked out just fine. Oh, I did take off the um, the dump pouch. So I can have more room on the belt to push my gear more to the, the sides of me than behind. Um, you know, it was a pain in the neck reaching back, you know, in my fire pouch when I had to use it because I left my main fire pouch at home. Um, my main fire pouch looks like this, right? It's an old leather sack and it pretty much has the same items. Um, so back to the black pouch, it's a backup kit, it's a backup fire kit, which has, a uh, fat wood, flint and steel. The steel is by, um... Wolf Creek Forge. I've only found them online on uh, eBay. Sorry, I haven't seen an actual uh, website, and they make one of the best steels uh, for flint and steel around. Above that is the char cloth, extra ferro rod, and a coffee filter fire starter, which I will be doing a video on as well. To the survival kit, which is the tan pouch. Um, as you can see, there is a duct tape wrapped around a credit card two 550 cords, about 10 feet each, the uh, SOL survival tarp or blanket, which uh, SOL, for those who don't know, survive outdoors longer. The tarp is five feet by eight feet. It's a good uh, cover in the element, depending on what the, uh, the, env the environment or weather is at the time. You can also, I also have the cold steel Spartan knife which is, again, a spare knife should I lose either knives. Uh, the chances of losing both knives is probably small, but it's still there. Uh, uh, right above that is a dry sack by Cedar Summit, which is uh, only three liters. Good to, uh, how you say, store water or, or gather water after you filter it or strain it through a bandana, which is right above the uh, dry sack or dry bag. Next to the dry bag is another SOL uh, product called Survival Poncho that would add to the the cover or the shelter that I have to build should I get stuck out in the woods. Now keep in mind, the survival pouch is only for survival situation. Um, I'm not going to use it as an everyday pouch every time I go out. It's if I lose my gear or I get lost in the woods, I can set up shop for an overnight or two uh, until I get back to camp or find my way out of woods. Alright guys, uh, thank you for watching.